What does it cost to eat like a member of the mythical kitchen? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're tasting one of the mythical kitchener's favorite dishes. Let's see if you can guess who it is. Mm -hmm. She perfected the frittata at the early age of four. Michael Jordan had a full head of hair until she dunked all over him. Ooh. And she's currently being recruited to be my new best friend, but Link doesn't know about that yet, so keep it between us. None of that's true. Of course it isn't, Link, of course it isn't. It's V! Hey, V! Hi! Look at you over there, anticipating us eating all of your favorite foods before your very eyes. Yeah, that kind of irritates me, but it's fine. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> They're my let, favorite foods. We're gonna let you they eat are. your favorite yep. foods? Okay, okay. Right after we eat them. Okay, we can be friends. Right. Me okay. and Brett, though. All right. What is going on? It's time for <laughs> Naked Food, Naked V Edition. Naked. Friendly reminder, it's the food that is naked. Okay, schmucks. Today you'll be tasting some of these favorite dishes at low, mid, high, and fancy price levels. Each round you'll pick your favorite, and by the end, we'll see how expensive your taste is. Up first, this is avocado toast. This is avocado toast. Uh huh. Link before you have it. Oh, it's a tall one, isn't it? Look, I see the face of Edgar Allan Poe in this tomato. Show it. Guys, guys, guys. We have the face of Edgar Allan Poe. Can you see it? I see it. I saw it immediately. Oh my gosh, this is hard to cut. V, do you like? Okay, I'll eat it, no one was impressed. Do you like an avocado toast that you have to cut with a knife? I just bite into it, I never fork it. Oh, you yeah. You pick it up and bite it? Yes. That's what I do, but uh, that would be. It's, it's just be... really hard, ow. Are you bleeding? I don't know, I'm scared to look. What part of your hand did you poke? The finger part. See, that's why you don't need a fork. You use your hands. Mm. How is this, huh? There's some thick bread. There's a charredness to it. That might be fancy because of that. That tastes good. Artisan what? bread, they call that. I really like pickled onions. You're learning that about Those yourself. are the best. Can I make a suggestion? Cut in half. And then bite and it? And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's Thank gonna, you for protecting that's gonna us. save a lot of the... Nope. Uh, what, look at this one, though. Hold on, get your head out of the way, man. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm trying to show something. It's like a man's cut, like, do you know how knives work? Apparently not. So this is a pickled carrot? That is a big, wide carrot sliver. Oh, that's way better. No tomatoes, which I love, a little bit of onion. There's something else on that that brings up a little bit of a tanginess that the first one did not have. Well, there's a... There's a whiteness under here. What is that? Yeah, just tangy. I don't know what it is. Is that an aioli? It's like an onion spread. I'm gonna that cut this good. one. Don't hate. First one was really good. Why is the bread in this town so hard? <laughs> good God. You wouldn't think it'd be that hard to eat avocado toast. I mean, this one's got tomatoes all over it and radishes. <laughs> You've been radished. That's the best part. Radish? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I like radish. Yeah, but not tomatoes. But it's not on the other two. Not as good. That feels mm. like something I just make on a breezy afternoon. Yep. <laughs> For myself. Now this one, cut it in half. There's an egg. It's got an egg on it. I'll let you cut through the fork. Oh, that feels strangely intimate. <laughs> nice. Cut through my fork. You guys would be fun to go to brunch with. We'd be sharing everything. Oh, there's a there's a little there's an oily sauce on this one. Mm-hmm. It's garlic aioli. <laughs> hmm. A little bland. Yeah. The egg seems like it I thought it was gonna be good. Would be interesting, but Huh. There's only one that I really like. Sorry, V. Well, she not, maybe I this is the one she would like. No, but I think she's got, you have a favorite of this, right? Yes. Does she have a favorite of one of these? Yes, I do. I'll tell you after. All yeah. right, we're ready. Three, two, one. Shampoo me. Oh, not the one I would have picked. Okay. No tomatoes. You gotta I try to love one. it. It's got carrots. Okay, and a this white is thing. really surprising. Not that you picked it, but this is the low option, and it's from Squirrel. 
Which, Squirrel. Yeah, you don't usually associate with the cheapest thing on the table for $12. And the first one is the fancy one from Cabana for $26. Wow. The next one that you thought you could make on a breezy afternoon is our high price point option from Riot House for 18 And lastly, our mid price point option from Republic with a K, coffee, uh, for $15.95. Oh. Okay, so which one's your favorite? That last one right there with the egg. It has to have the egg on it. Oh, okay. Please. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I was fond of the egg, but squirrel. Squirrel, mm. y'all doing it upright, putting I'll some climb that tree white stuff on there. These are lobster rolls. That have been cut in half, Link. Yes. <laughs> and there's only three of these because... Life is good. Ain't no thing is such of a... What's the word when something cheap? doesn't cost a lot? You mean cheap. a cheap lobster roll? Yeah. Is that what you're looking for? Ain't no such of a thing. As a cheap lobster roll. Hmm. Mm-hmm. What style is it when it's a little bit cold? Connecticut? It's a fridge kind. Because <laughs> there, there's well, there's, you can either get it cold with mayo or hot with butter, yeah. but I don't know if either is attributed to a specific. It's well, a main, and I like that first one. Uh, it's pretty like tender, right down the line. Right down the line, like it's what you expect. I'm not gonna write any letters. Of, I'm gonna write a, a letter of recommendation. <laughs> okay, so it, can, it, it might be unemployed. Which right, it's up to you. This one's little. But it's is a it good? little little one. It looks like it's in a potato bun. Hmm. It's little so you don't share. And it's, I don't share my lobster rolls. Mm. It's very fresh tasting. Very good too. This okay. one over here is, is more toasty, overstuffed. Connecticut is the one with the warm butter. Mm-hmm. Okay. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna eat this like this. Well, anything for all of a lobster roll. Don't put it back on. No, you eat it. Just okay, eat it. it back on. You got to put it back on. That's really good. So good. Um, so good. They're all good. These are more what you expect, and this one's better than that one. This one is a little bit of a wild card. I'm trying to figure mm. it out. Little and good. You got to save up money for a good lobster roll, though. Yeah, you do. You might pay $40. Three, two, one. Well, bam. That Ooh. one's, I like it, but this is the wild card really yes. really got me excited. Great uh-huh. choice, Rhett. So, Rhett, yes, you have chosen V's favorite, a uh, high price point option from Found Oyster for $34. I found it. $34. And, Link, you have chosen our fancy option Uh-oh. from Salty Girl for $42. Uh, he's and, a salty girl. And uh, today you'll be celebrating by doing the Fancy Pants Brian Cranston. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, he's so spry. <laughs> oh, don't, don't don't give away the illusion. Yep. Rub that head. Mm-hmm. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> There was an audible gasp. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? And oh then, no, the paper guy was thrown. <laughs> the first one is our mid price point option from Broad Street Oyster for $25. Mm. Oh, and you're eating the last round. I am. Did you? Did we get turned on no, to that one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was asking. Did we turn either. you on to that one? I think um, Link just got turned on with I Brian Cranston. Turned on, no. <laughs> but this is good. You notice my shirt? Check oh. out this cool patchwork quilt design of the GMM logo. You can do you see the GMM in there? Yes, it yeah. just came alive. Pretty cool, huh? Also available as a sticker. So you can make your own small t-shirts. Mm-hmm. Go to mythical.com and get patched up. This is beef bulgogi. bulgogi. Good choice, B. Dang. The first thing I order at Korean barbecue always. I never had it until I came to this wonderful place that we all live in. Mythical? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never leave. So this is like the test of a good Korean spot for you? That if this is good and after the first thing order? Yes, mm-hmm. 100%. It's dang good, but it's more of a fried rice bulgogi. So I kind of feel like 
It was tasty, but I like it. It doesn't seem authentic to me. I like it when they're not shy to throw a bunch of onions in it. You know, I'm a big fan of onion. It always has to have onions. That first one doesn't have onion. Oh, well. This is a big improvement. <laughs> I don't know what that flavor is in bulgogi, that's that sweet, savory thing sugar. that's happening. Sugar. A lot of sugar. Mm -hmm. This has it. That didn't. This has it. This one looks. This has got big. Like it could be even better. Unbroken pieces of meat. Lots of lots of cabbage and onion. Hmm. These are like full pieces of like the um the rib meat. I don't like it as much as this though. It's good though. This one's got some purple in it. That, purple is that, is that cabbage? Purple cabbage. It's finer onions. Now they have to be like thick pieces. I oh, might dang. choke on one. Your standard is you want to. Make sure that you choke on it. Yeah. That's good too. Okay. Well, you know what, V, choke on this. Mm, don't don't say that. <laughs> oh yeah? I've just heard other people say it to me, so. <laughs> That's sad. That means they probably didn't like you. Hmm. Oh really? But you said you like to choke on it. Now, yeah. so I was encouraging you to have the time of your life. It's not the same. Hmm. Okay. There's a clear winner to me. Hmm. Huh. Three. Okay. Two. One. I actually like this one. It was really good. I yeah. like that one second best for sure. Yeah. But there's just Rhett something sweet. Who chose our high price point uh, item from Han Um by Chef Kang for $26. Chef Kang? And Chef Kang. You chose our mid price point dish. From BBQ and rice for twelve dollars. The first one Reasonable. was bad because it was from the grocery store. It's Laughing Tiger for two uh, seventy-eight. Laughing and Tiger. Then... That's a pleasant thought. <laughs> <laughs> Not if it's the last thing you see. If you ever see a laughing tiger. Mm -mm. Well, I didn't think he was laughing at me. Well. And that one that you're eating off of right now is our fancy option from Bacchus Tables for thirty-four dollars. Choke on this tiger. Yeah. Laughing at me. This is Southern style banana pudding. Oh man. Pudding. This is kind of the 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 like indicator of a great restaurant in North Carolina. A good barbecue restaurant. If they don't do right. this right, mm -hmm. they're not gonna do a lot of other things right. And Texas. So I hear that. about Texas. I mean, because I think this is like the official, unofficial, official like dessert of North Carolina. Is it also the official unofficial dessert of Texas? Um I have no idea, but it is the official of v &A Austin. That's right. <laughs> mm, that's good. So all of these are in the to-go thing, so as not to be disturbed, they it, didn't replate them. This has got vanilla wafers on top. Yeah. You could take it with you in the car, you know, I'm on a bike that. ride maybe, on the roller coaster. Take it on a bike know. ride? One of those yeah. bikes that has a cup holder. Yeah. Put it right there and it's banana pudding in a bike. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yes! A banana bike. Remember those? This is not great, I'm sorry. <laughs> because this is like, this has some cream. Mm -hmm. This is just the banana pudding and wafers. Ah, I feel like it's lacking. This one, they added the banana. Oh, no, it's got chess, it's got Pepperidge Farm chessmen in it. What? You may Fancy. notice I'm not eating the banana because the true test of banana pudding for me is eating it without the banana. What? That yeah. doesn't even make sense. Exactly. I'm not here to make sense, I'm here to make dollars. Hey, I can't fight with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> you right. <laughs> that one's good again. I think that's my motto. <laughs> yeah, you should make that year. I think I'm not here to make sense, I'm here to make friends. I think it's somebody else's <laughs> motto. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> the first one should be your Instagram bio. I'd follow you after that. Oh, you would start to follow <laughs> <laughs> That would do it. <laughs> that's not bad there. There's a lot of cream on this one. This one looks like a cheesecake. The official dessert of Texas is pecan pie, yep. apparently. What's the official dessert of North Carolina? There's not one. It's banana pudding. This one is so sweet and sugary, and there's not a glance of actual banana in it. The only one that's got- It tastes banana-y, but- Yeah, I don't like, I, I like it when it doesn't have just whole bananas in it. There's okay. some whole bananas in this first one. It's good, but there's one. That is exquisite. Exquisite. Three, two, one. 
I like this one better. This is exquisite. Why is it exquisite to you? It's it's it's, it's so full flavored. It's like, overly sweetened. I know it's full flavored. It has all of the flavor. Yeah, you got to get all the layers in one bite. Yeah, if I can do that, then it's a good yeah. good banana. It is pudding. good. Well, Rhett, you have chosen our low grocery store Dang, point. Son. Is it Ralph's? Dish. Yeah. Um, it's actually Patty LaBelle's line. It's Patty's Patty LaBelle Good LaBelle Life. What's up? From yeah, Walmart Patty. for two forty four. Patty, give me a call. Let's make a whole batch. Patty. Maybe you don't need me. You're already doing it. <laughs> Patty. And Link. For the second time in a row, you, I mean, not in a row, for this episode, you have chosen our fancy uh, dish. It's also V's favorite. It's from Fixin' Soul Kitchen for $11. Let's see Brian Cranston if you didn't break him before. It is good. Uh, uh, why? Yeah. That's that's it right there. <laughs> yep. Give the man thirty seconds and he will ruin your favorite show. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. Oh, oh, why I he think I actually like got that? a paper cut. <laughs> See, celebritycutouts.com. The second one in not that you said not was sponsor. not very good was the high price point option from Little Jewel of New Orleans for seven seventy five. dollars like And it. the third one was the mid price point option from Annie's Soul Delicious for $6. You've now tasted all of these Patty favorites, LaBelle. and Damn. the lowest price total of every single round was $37.22. The highest was $113. Rhett, Could I have, for the first time, had a more expensive taste than you? I don't think it's the first time, but it's the first time in a while, probably. It's it's close. Rhett's perfect meal, V meal total was 74, 44. Link, yours was 77 even. Wow, so two fancies and only $3 more? Weird. Wow. <laughs> Patty LaBelle, come on now. Patty! <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Sarah from Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm here at the Memorial Bell Tower where just last night, our mayor announced April 15th as NC State Basketball Day in honor of both our team's legendary performances this year. And now it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Go back! Click the top link to watch us play a game of horse against a former basketball player. V? Yeah, Inga Milligamore. And about where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. A GMM logo of many colors. Get the new GMM patchwork tee or sticker now at mythical.com.